Talking with uh, John Ryan, SBR contributor from JohnRyanSports.com. We just got finished talking about uh, the opening lines for Week 6 college football. Now we're going to start talking about the opening lines for Week 5 in the NFL. And uh, John Ryan, you have a, a thread on, on SBR forum where you've been uh, tracking your picks for NFL so far this year. And it's 13-6, and six, you tell me, right? Yeah, 13-6. and six, uh, You know, and I say it with a smile on my face because yeah. I'm glad it's not 6-13 and 13 and I'd have to go <laughs> on every day and read the, uh, the comments. Definitely. All right. Well, well. good job. Let's keep it going. Uh, let's talk about some of these uh, NFL openers. There's, there's a couple that I bet last night. The main one I bet, I'm happy to see moved in my favor a bit. I bet Denver at home plus five and a half uh, against San Diego. Now it's down to four. Uh, I think that's probably a good bet. I'd probably still take it at four. What do you make of that line? Yeah, that one is one that you would think that would open up at seven. You know, uh, seven. You know common sense uh, would tell you that, that that's a six or seven point line. The fact that it's coming down like this tells me that the, the play would be Denver. Mm-hmm. Well, I will say so that on the on the uh, NFL Experts Roundtable last week, uh, Scott Kellen, who's a very well-respected handicapper from SixthSenseSports.com, uh, identified San Diego as as a team that was having some problems and might be a good uh, fade against. He liked them as a fade against la- as as a bet against last week, and um, I wonder what he'll say about him this week. I, I kind of like him uh, here even more. Uh, what do, what do you think about like Philadelphia as a three-point uh, road favorite against Buffalo? You know, Philadelphia is pretty much. Uh, Essing the bed on their whole season. I think that's an appropriate term for how they're playing, what they're doing. Are, are, John, are, are you familiar with the term shit the bed? Yes. You know yes, what that I means, am. right? Would you say that's an appropriate term to describe uh, what Philadelphia has been doing to their season? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. The only thing worse could be 0 and 4. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think it's so. uh... Dream team, dream team. What was this line in the beginning of the year? It must have been like, you know, closer to 10. Oh, I would have to think so. Right. I, I definitely would have to think so. I'm just shocked at this line. Right. Uh, Philly has some tremendous problems, and now I'm beginning to wonder whether they have problems in the locker room. Yeah. Uh, until that offensive line learns how to block and defend Vic or whatever quarterback they're going to choose to have back there, uh, they, they have major problems there. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy for any defense to attack their A gap and just blow it wide open. The public still thinks that Philadelphia is the dream team. Right. So uh, I think there's tremendous value in taking Buffalo as a home home dog here. All right. And then uh, also Green Bay. What do you make of that line? Green Bay minus four over Atlanta. You know, uh, you know, people are saying the Green Bay is now the uh, the new New England. And they're a team where, you know, pretty much against anyone when, when New England was in their heyday, was in their prime. Uh, anytime you saw them as this range of a, of a road favorite uh, against anyone, they were usually wound up being a good bet. You think that's uh, the case here? Yeah, I, I think... Uh... You know, we saw yesterday the real Green Bay, and uh, they just put up a ton of points. Now, the question in this game is, can Atlanta contain the Green Bay offense? And uh, Green Bay is starting to look like New England did a few years ago, where they didn't really worry about the defense too much. So the question to be answered here is, can Atlanta stay in the game? If Green Bay gets this into a shootout, and I would have to say absolutely not. And uh, what, do you think this line's going to close uh, closer to seven, just like the New England-Oakland uh, game did last week? Um, I'm not sure, Peter. That that line, um, I have Green Bay opening at five and absolutely dropping down to four. And I think that might be a reflection of the public thing that Green Bay kind of shot its load last week and won't do it again. Hmm. Uh, I do believe there are systems in my database that say you know, that, that will confirm that. You know, teams that score that many points the following week don't. Right. And are terrible against the spread. I like I like that term shot their load. So we've used some good terms in this in this spot. Shit the bed they're, and they're shot all their highly load. Highly scientific terms too, I might add. <laughs> yeah. That's how you handicap. You know what I mean? You want to fade teams that shit the bed and fade teams that have shot their load in the previous week. Uh, yep. what do you are there any other lines uh, from the openers that have uh, caught your eye? Um the Oakland-Houston game, uh, I like. Mm-hmm. Uh, money is coming in big on Oakland. Mm-hmm. Uh, it opened at 6.5. It's down to 6. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that line could actually drop more. And uh, if it does, then I'm, I'm going to be all over Houston. Uh, so at the present time, just to clarify with the listeners, because you know things change as the week progresses and what I write on the thread can sometimes vary, uh, I'm pretty sure that, that Houston is going to end up being at least a five-star play on the thread. Really? Uh, if it isn't a five-star play, it'll be a no. It'll be a no play, and there'll be reasons why. But as I look at it right now, uh, I like Houston to absolutely, you know, just blow them out. All right, all right, great insights, John. Thanks so much for doing this call with us. Okay, thank you, Peter. Thank you.
All right, that's our look at the uh, NFL opening lines for week five. Check back on SBR and on our YouTube channel for our uh, expert roundtables where we'll do more analysis on all these games and lines uh, throughout the rest of the week.